Hey everyone, Alice here with the weekly reading for July 18th to the 24th. Uh, what's going on this week? Oh, right. Leo season. Sun entering Leo at the end of the week. So that's fun, <laughs> I guess. So we're going to enter Leo season here. Um, actually, it, it actually is. So we're, we're getting out of Capricorn, all those feels entering Leo. Um, so this week, <laughs> so I'm going to say the energy this week is really going to test everyone's patience. Um, just, you know, try to have temperance and keep your cool this week. Um, it might be very difficult not gonna lie uh, <laughs> and you might even wonder like should I be waiting um, you might be doubting yourself uh, if you should not say anything if you should keep your mouth shut um, I'm gonna say it's probably a good idea to keep your mouth shut uh, for the most part because this week the energy is kind of crazy not going to lie and it's you're gonna second guess yourself uh, very likely this week um, because a lot of shit might be coming out, especially uh, around people who are like in low vibrations. Um, they may really be testing <laughs> your patience this week. Uh, so I mean, you could try to stay clear of them, but you know, sometimes you just you have to deal with these people, and um, it'll be interesting. So uh, this week. Um, Monday is probably when you're going to feel these low vibration people coming in, um, and trying to sort of manipulate you. It's a lot of ego here, uh, people being really, uh, arrogant and, you know, really almost competitive here and just kind of being like, I'm right, you're wrong, that type of energy, uh, because <laughs> of the uh, opposition with. Uh, Mercury to Pluto, so, and it, 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 in tra tra training, training, whatever, with the moon, so, like, they're working together, so, yeah, you're just gonna have people who, you're trying to convince you that their way is better than your way, and trying to almost, like, manipulate you into that, um, here, and it might hurt your feelings, and you might feel like, you want to fight back um, and be like, well, no, you are wrong and I need to tell you that you're wrong. Uh, I would hold back. That's what I, that's what I'm talking about. Temperance, you know, having patience uh, this week. <laughs> Try to hold yourself back uh, if that happens, especially on Monday because Tuesday you might be thinking a little more clearly and being like, you know, what was I going on about? Like this person like, the person you're dealing with is in, like, a low vibration, and you're just like, why am I even bothering with this person? Like, why am I even wasting my breath on this person? Um, so that may be what's going on on Tuesday. That's in the energy there. Um, also, with that clarity, you're just going to realize that these people aren't worth it. You know, like, these people... Whoever has been trying to bring you down, like on Monday or even just even before then, like it's just kind of realizing who these people are, you know, seeing them for who they are. They're people that are in, you know, it's, they're just negative energy. They could be like energy vampires, whatever you want to call it. You know, these are just people who are just trying to, you know, take your energy. You can put it that way or just assholes, basically. <laughs> Like, maybe you convinced yourself they weren't assholes at some point, but, like, Tuesday, it might, like, really become clear, like, wow, these people are just assholes. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Um, Wednesday, I feel they're going to try to suck you into their games, okay? Wednesday, there's a lot of action going on in the middle of the week. Uh, people might be trying to get you to play these games, you know, with them, these stupid head mind games uh with them and you might even want to play because you you might be feeling like i need to defend myself i need to protect myself like my pride and everything and they're like you know they're gonna try to get you and try to maybe attack your integrity and all of that you know try try to hold your tongue um like 
really uh, try not to get sucked into these stupid games with these people because they're because they'll sense they'll sense that you are seeing them you know they're gonna sense like that you're starting to see who they are so they're gonna try harder possibly on you know in the middle of the week uh thursday the energy there is for you to start to kind of build up that sense of confidence within yourself um that you know sort of bravery here to actually say something because like up to this point you really should be holding your tongue um otherwise you're just going to become like them you're going to like you're going to lower your vibration to their level and that's obviously not what you want um but thursday you're going to start to feel a little more empowered here um you know kind of feeling like you know if you if you couldn't say anything or you didn't think that you had the right thing to say to them because you know how sometimes you want to say something but you know or you do say something and you're you think later and you're just like damn that's not what i wanted to say you're like oh, i should have said this and that and you're like yeah okay hold your tongue until friday friday is like game on day like friday because thursday you're going to start to feel better about yourself and more confident in just how you're going to present yourself and then friday friday's like <laughs> Friday's like game on day. I feel like you may, if you're going to say something, you're going to say it on Friday. You know, if you, you know, you don't have to, obviously, it's just the energy is there. The energy is there for, you know, if this person is still trying, um, the energy is there for you to just be like, you know what, like shut the fuck up and you're like, you're going to say it and you're going to be heard and you're going to say the right things. And yeah. So if you're going to say something, I would wait till Friday um, you don't have to, obviously, but that's just, the energy is better on Friday for you to actually, like, confront, um, these people. You don't have to, right? Nobody has to. Everyone has free will, but the energy is there if you do, okay? Basically. Um, uh, and then, you know, it gets better on the weekend. Um, Saturday, you know, Saturday, you might be feeling really good about yourself. Like, yes, like, especially if you said something on Friday, you know, Saturday, you're going to really like feel it. Like, yeah, I stood up for myself. I feel good about it. I feel empowered. You know, you're going to feel like, um, the balance has been restored in some way here. You know, they, they've left, you know, they might have, you know, they might just have fucked off and you're just like, okay, great. You know, good. They're out of my hair. They're gone. You can breathe a sigh of relief there. And Sunday, actually, there aren't really any, um, there isn't really anything happening, apparently, astrologically, like big, like um, major astrological like aspects. Uh, so Sunday is like really is a breather day, honestly. Sunday is like, don't to, the energies are there for you to just, just relax. It's like there's nothing going on, not really. Um, there's a little bit, but just kind of relax, um, enjoy the peace and quiet of the energies. Um, there's one thing I did want to point out for Friday. Uh, if you're in the Eastern time zone like me, uh, Friday evening and night, if you need to like clean up, like tidy up, that's a good time. That's a good time to clean up and tidy up. Um, the, the energies are there that you might actually get it done. So if you're trying to do some spring, summer cleaning kind of thing, uh, or if you like have been meaning to like, whatever, like clean out the garage or clean out your closet or something like that. Um, a good time would be Friday night. I know Friday night. It's like, who, who, who's at home on Friday night cleaning? But I mean, it is, it's there. The, the sort of the opportunity is there with the energies um, to basically clean up. It's, it's not just cleaning up. Um, if you're wanting to sort of like redecorate, um, like move some furniture around and and all that, you know, it, it's, it's, the energies are there for that. Okay, so that is just sort of the astrological sort of forecast that like I look for myself and I just kind of pass on to you. I'm not an astrologist <laughs> at all, um, but I found recently that um, the energies have been quite like true for me in my life. So I wasn't like going to continue, but like because recently I've noticed, I'm like, oh shit, yeah, I said that, didn't I? And 
I felt that and it was happening. So maybe, I don't know. Normally I don't like pay attention to it, but I've been paying attention to it lately because I thought maybe I should. And it's kind of true. So um, yeah, I thought I would just kind of pass it on. So that is sort of the, the weekly energies um, that are kind of going on. So it's kind of um, a mixed bag uh, week. Uh, I mean, everyone has free will, so it depends on how you're going to deal with this. Um, I feel like if you keep your vibration up, if you stay positive, you're not going to sink down to these levels of like pettiness. Um, but you could, I mean, the energy is there for everyone. I, I, you could be the one on the other side. So just, you know, be mindful of that. All right, so we're going to look at the weekly readings. I figure I'm just going to kind of see in general the energy that's coming towards you because it does seem that the energy here is for somebody who's sort of in a low vibration to come at you. So I figure we'll see who's coming towards you this week. So maybe give you a little bit of a heads up possibly here and what they're what they're all about so it doesn't necessarily have to be your person like the person you're thinking of the person that's on your mind the person whose energy is attached to you it's whatever energy is coming towards you that's going to affect you this week basically um is what uh, we're going to look at for this week and yeah so technically this reading is timeless so whenever you find it is when you're meant to find it there may be a message in here for you but we are kind of looking at the week here but, you know, there's a message in here if you found this, like, later. Um, possibly it could just be one thing that I say. Just keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything is going to apply to your situation. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to force it. Just go by your intuition. If it feels right, then it feels right. Even if it doesn't, I guess, make sense, but it feels right, it could just be future influence. Um, that happens and you know everyone has free will so I mean this is what's going on in the current energy uh, things can change so it's it, they're not predictions I'm just reading the energy right now and in, in your timeline it would be right now in my timeline it's right now for me uh, for you <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know if that made any sense um, we're gonna go through Aries through Pisces so feel free to check out your Sun moon rising or Venus sign or anything that you feel drawn to because like I said I'm not an astrologer I use the signs as a way to sort of separate the energy but it really is everybody's energy it's just like 12 sort of mini readings I guess but I mean I could just do one big reading I suppose but I feel for me I would get really confused doing that so I do 12 so I kind of separate it into 12 so it's just easier for me I guess well it's not easier but because it's still 12 readings and it takes me a while but um <laughs> in my mind it's easier I guess uh <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, if you enjoy these readings, if you find them helpful or useful or just entertaining in any way, I'd appreciate it if you could like and or subscribe or share this video. Uh, it helps me to do more with the channel and you get to be notified when I post new videos, which I try to do as frequently as I can. I try to post at least the weekly readings like these and a weekend reading uh, at the very least. Uh, that's what I try to do. Okay, so we will get started with the signs. All right, Cancer, let's see what energy is coming towards you this week. Who is coming towards you? What do they want? Is it good? Is it bad? Whatever spirit wants you to know. making me shuffle but it's like difficult shuffling that's why I'm not saying anything because I have to like concentrate oh okay Ooh, two cups 
Ага. Ага. Окей. Ага. So strange. Okay. Your overall energy. Six of coins in reverse. The Empress. Oh, that's nice. You're an Empress energy. That's nice. Although. Uh, I feel like something didn't work out and you had to like basically like it didn't work out with somebody or people. I don't know who or what. It could be work. It just could be people around you. So you had to do it on your own, but it didn't really work out on your own. So you're just kind of like, fuck it. I'm just going to do it on my own. I'm just going to like, you know, it's like stepping into this Empress energy, as they say. And it's like, you know, what? It's, it's because something didn't work out here. Something did not work out here. You couldn't figure it out and you just kind of were like, whatever, I'm just going to let that go. I'm going to let that go. When you let it go, like, you know, it's like um, thinking like there's something in your life you were juggling, like balancing, trying to balance between two things. And you're like, I can't balance between this two shit anymore. So you just let one of them go and you entered this empress energy. You're like, I'm going to let one of them go and whatever happens, whatever comes to me, it's going to come to me. I'm very receptive of it and everything here. And this energy, this Empress energy, I I feel like you might be being taken advantage of a little bit here. Um, it's either somebody is taking too much from you because you're being really open here. You're being very open to giving here. And somebody's either taking too much from you or you're giving too much. You're allowing them to take too much here. So just be mindful of that here or you're just giving too much of your time or your effort energy here because you know there is such a thing as I know a lot of people say you know when you know be in your empress energy be very open open to receiving love and giving love and all that but you can you can do it a little too much um here and you might be doing it a little bit too much here. Um, as I was putting the cards down the reason why I was like hemming and hawing and, and making all these noises is because I'm not sure if this is a person. Um, I mean, there is another energy here. There definitely is another energy here. It's just, I don't really know how involved they are um, here because there seems to have been a connection um, here that can, you know, that may be reconciling here um, af but it's been kind of stuck for a while. It hasn't really gone anywhere for some time now. And that's why I was like, huh, okay. Um, it might just be that, <sighs> like, it, it just feels like there's a lot of conflict here with it. You know, I, I feel like you've just been working hard. You know, there's a lot of like, you've just been doing things here. You've been working hard and you really haven't even been paying attention to this other connection. That's why I'm just like, a lot of this seems like your energy, in a sense, like energy that's coming towards you and, and affecting you sort of directly here. Because I do, I feel like you may have been going a little bit overboard here or somebody's been going a little bit overboard here, like working a little bit too hard here. Um... And just kind of like not really like almost like working to distract yourself or something or something is distracting you oh man i'm just energy is kind of making me dizzy i'm not gonna lie i don't even know why it's just like sucking the energy as i'm trying to read it because it's just you know why it because it feels like there's so much work being put into it that's why it's just i just feel a lot of like effort Hmm. I mean, the moon in reverse, it can be a feeling of exhaustion, tiredness, um, but like emotionally exhausted. I feel like you've dealt with a lot of emotional shit as well. Um, 
things that you haven't really been able to move on from here. It can be this connection. There's, there's just this connection here that is stuck. It's not going anywhere. And it's causing like this emotional drain, I feel. Um, I, I mean, I get it. It kind of feels like you're just not even like, I'm just don't, I'm not even going to pay attention to it. I just don't want to pay attention to it here. You know, you're trying to stabilize things in your life here. Um, that you're removing yourself from the situation here. You're not, it's not over. You're not completely like blocking it out or anything here. Um, but you, you're trying to look for some stability here. And it feels like you're putting in so much effort into that. Like there's just so much effort being put that it can almost be like it's almost backfiring. Like you're it's it feels like if there's this connection here and you're like, I'm not going to pay attention to it. I don't, I'm not going to pay. It's not going anywhere. I'm just going to like, you know, out of sight, out of mind. I'm just not going to look at it here. I'm going to put my focus elsewhere. But it's like you're trying too hard. You're putting too much energy into other things, but you're it hasn't gone anywhere you know that connection's still around um you might hear a lot of like readers or energy readers talk about how you need to like you can't it's not enough to just sort of disconnect yourself in the 3d if you're trying to you know detach yourself from a connection you have to energetically detach and i know that can be confusing and be like what does that mean like how do i know if i'm doing it or not i mean you sh you should be able to feel it and it's it is something that I kind of struggle with sometimes um, that, you know, you feel like you're doing all the right things. Like you feel like you've moved on and you feel like, but you know, you can still feel whether you're still energetically attached or not. And it's just like, okay, well then how, how do I sever that? I mean, sometimes, sometimes it's very difficult. Sometimes the more you try, you know, the more resistance that you get. Um, back from it and it just feels like this it just feels like you're just trying to sort of distract yourself the energy that's here that's coming towards you is a lot of trying to distract yourself a lot of try hard energy I'm not gonna lie here and I feel like it's a little overboard um, and it's just I feel like it's gonna tire you out if you if you try to go this route you know if you try to just be like I'm not going to think about this connection and I'm going to do other things. I'm going to work really hard on like my, my, my job, my career or other projects here and just pay attention to that and just put all my attention over there and not think about this connection. Uh, but I don't really know if that's going to work here because man, is my head just so fucking heavy, dude. Oh, I need to like, okay, I'm enough of this. I'm sorry. Enough of that. I can't look at this anymore. Like, I, I just don't want to feel that. I mean, I will, but I'm going to continue on a lighter note here. Let's just see about this connection because whatever connection is that is here that you are trying to sort of distract yourself away from, uh, I don't know. It's just kind of, it, it's, it's a strong connection. And I feel like you, you feel like you're doing everything right, but it's, yeah, no, you're not going to be able to distract yourself away from it. Not in the 3D, not like that, but that seems to be the energy that's coming towards you is that is like, I'm going to try, I'm going to try my fucking hardest here. It's like, yeah, okay. You try, you try it that way. <laughs> Cancer. Okay, five of swords. Yeah, I see why. I see. Uh huh. Yeah, this is the stuck. See this? This is confirmation. This is the energy. The two of cups. Um, the energy that you're basically trying to turn a blind eye to, <laughs> distract yourself away from. The reason why it's so difficult. Why is this? Okay. The reason why it's so difficult here is because the Wheel of Fortune. This connection is supposed to be here. That's why, that's why, oh, my head. That's why it's like, it's supposed to be around. Um, you're supposed to deal with it. I, yeah. Mm, 
it's there ha there I feel like you have to deal with this connection that distracting yourself away from it is not going to benefit you here. You know, there needs, you know, this, it's almost like there's a planned break in this connection because, you know, somebody, this person, whoever this person is, you know, there, I don't know who did it. I don't know if it was this person or you, somebody did something here that was very selfless, um, not selfless, selfish. I mean, there is somebody here, I guess, who is selfless. Um, you know, it can be this person. It might not be you here. I, guess, I don't even think that it's you, but just because you're in this empress energy. Um, but this person or some, it, it, there's an energy here of somebody here acting like an asshole. You know, saying, doing something just for their own selfish reasons all they care all they were interested in was themselves here and there's a break period you know the reason why this happened is because this connection needed to, there it almost feels like there this is a planned separation here from the universe that this was always supposed to happen um but that does but it almost feels like in the separation the universe was like you well you're not supposed to just kind of ignore it and distract yourself with other things you're supposed to deal with it here um so there's a pause there's a pause going on here and there's a reason for this pause you know there is a whatever a purpose for this pause here um I was wondering what happened. I was like, what happened in this connection? <laughs> it's more pausing. Um, okay. Yeah. I feel that. So again, seven of coins. This is basically a lesser wheel of fortune here. That's how it reads right now is that again, this was meant to happen. Divine timing, you know, in divine timing, somebody here was supposed to break off this connection. I do get that with the hierophant um here and you know spend some time on their own so that they can deal with this tower and again the tower in this deck to me is more about new perceptions um you know having something crash around you which is this connection here this this five of swords is sort of the catalyst of the tower here this five of swords created this sort of separation here this hierophant here you know a break in something that was long term for you know you guys to separate yourselves away and to think think on your own and think on your own about this tower so I almost feel like the purpose here is for you to both deal with these towers you know change your perception of something here I, I, you know, I feel like that is on an individual level. I don't feel like I could probably get that in a general reading, but it is something that happened with this connection because of the separation or because this person or somebody acted like an asshole here, you know, that was to make both of you kind of think about it, you know, go inside and contemplate about what has happened here, what happened in this connection, not distract yourself away from it. I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying like, you're going to, like, you're, it's not going it, to, it's, you're going to feel the resistance and it's going to probably be uncomfortable. Like as uncomfortable as I was, my head's feeling a little more clear now. Now I didn't have to look at all that energy of your energy of this distracting energy. Um, now that it's more focused on the connection and some of this person. So, 
this person, I feel that what they want to do, what they would like to do, I don't know if they know, like they probably don't know this in like the 3D, but their intentions are they would like to be this king of coins. They would like to be somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing. You know, somebody who's learned from their experiences and knows what to do and how to get the things that they want. Um, like how to create, you know, the things they want, wanting to be um, more, wanting to have things. That is a bit of a problem for me. I'll be honest because I look at this and I see, was it King John um, from Robin Hood? I mean, I know this is a villain deck. They're all villains here, but I mean, what I get from this is somebody who's more concerned about their the money, their money matters, and that's what this person seems to be mostly concerned about is making like a good living, like having money, having a, a good amount of money here. Um, there's something about the choices that they've made that they've made a bad choice, and because they made a poor decision here. You know that's what's leading them to be like I need more money here you know their intention is I need more money that would make me very happy here if I had more money here the thing is is that they're kind of fooling themselves here like eh. their intentions are I would like to be happy you know I want to be happy and they think that money is going to make them happy here but with the High Priestess in reverse, it's like they know that that's like, they know that's just wishful thinking. That's stupid, basically. Um, that money doesn't bring you happiness. Pure money doesn't bring you happiness. That's dumb. But this is this person, this is right now, their intentions are is like, if I had money, I would be happy. Even though they do know that's kind of stupid to be thinking that way and that's not going to get you anywhere. That doesn't, you know, the ace of coins, you know, eventually you grow and you nurture it to get to the ten of coins. It's almost like they're looking for shortcuts here. You know, they're not even willing to sort of even put in the work to get to this, you know, this king of cups. This, this person, their intentions here are just, yeah. They're, they're not even thinking about you. Like, I just wanted to know what their intentions were in, in this connection. They're not even thinking about you. I mean, they could be thinking that in order to have a connection here with you that they need to be successful here that but they they see money as equaling success here and they're like i made a poor decision here and if i had more money then things would have went better i don't agree with that and you know there's a there's a part of them that also thinks that's stupid that's wishful thinking here that's you know at least that's something <laughs> but okay so then how does this person actually feel about you then i mean you're probably not even interested to know how this person feels about you i don't know because you seem to want to distract yourself a lot from this connection you know perhaps this person also does want to distract themselves too but i felt that was more your energy than their energy i will be honest about that The Emperor, the Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Queen of Wands, and the Seven of Coins. Again, more waiting energy. Um, <laughs> so, I inadvertently, so I know what I said. I said, how do they feel? But then I realized while I was shuffling, I was like, how do they, I was, my intentions went to how do they think about you? What is their perception of you? So I apologize. That happens. That's why I don't always say things when I'm shuffling because it changes in my mind sometimes. Like I just let my mind go and then what comes out comes out. So this is actually how they see you. Um, they do think that they need to wait here. Mm. So it's like you don't even have a friendship with this person at the moment. It's like, at least from their perspective here, you know, any sort of good times that you had, you know, is gone. See, it's like, oh, these are the good times. This is what it looks like. It's just barren. It's just barren. It's empty. There are no good times here. You don't, you guys don't hang out. 
it's just dead like this here and you know it, it's because they might see you as somebody who is just waiting um waiting for things to change here overall they just kind of feel that you're just when it comes to this connection you're just waiting it out you're just waiting and seeing what happens you're just kind of you know just waiting for things to kind of develop here um they think that you don't have any real feelings for them to be honest um i mean they they think that you had feelings but uh they do see you as distracting yourself definitely here um, mostly because they feel they think that you want some sort of control here you're trying to get control here but you are kind of pretending that you have control it's like how do i how do i put this into english that wasn't english <laughs> they see you as somebody who's just kind of on the outside appearing as if you you know if as if you are very confident and that you know what you're doing here um but they just they think that it's just an act they think that you're just pretending that you are in control that you're pretending that you know what you're doing here um mostly because they just think you're trying to distract yourself that you're just mostly that you're it's like you're waiting for something they think that you're waiting for something from this connection from them possibly and that you're just kind of doing things as a distraction and just kind of pretending like you have some sort of control here but really they think that it's all up to the universe here that seems very insightful for this person not gonna lie if that's what they really think um perhaps maybe this person watches tarot or something i don't know but that seems very insightful for this person to be thinking that about you but it I don't think that they're thinking that they have to, you know, do something here. Because I almost feel like your person with this energy here, they do realize this, but it almost feels like, you know, you both have something to heal here. You both have something to do. Um, you, it's like you both have your assignments. You know, the universe has given you both your assignments and you can't come together until you finish those assignments. You know, until you learn these lessons. Um, I'm not sure if your person knows that they have lessons to learn too. It's not just you, Cancer, that has to do this. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, cards falling. What is this? The devil in reverse. How does this person feel about you? Eh, they're stuck. They don't know. Well, I don't know if they don't know. Um, eh, they're thinking a lot. I saw this. I remember seeing this judgment card. Um, there's something about you that they regret saying to you. They said something to you or did something yeah there's something either something it could be something that they didn't say you know how you know you know sometimes not saying something is saying something um this person might not have said something to you and they kind of regret that they didn't say something to you that they wanted to say to you and they're trying to like figure out how to get past that you know they're trying to figure out how do i bypass these feelings of um guilt here remorse here um so they feel like they're working on it but what i'm getting from this is that they're just kind of putting a band-aid solution on it that it's not really like um a full healing thing here you know, like a full sort of re rehabilitation that's going on here i feel like this is a quick fix here you know they're thinking about it too much because this is in their feelings right they're feeling how can you be thinking about how you feel i feel it's just a lot of you know just trying to put a band-aid on it like you're just kind of keeping that devil energy at bay but it's still there you know the dam could break here and 
they feel a little trapped here, a little stuck here. Um, like they just feel like when it comes to you, their feelings haven't really changed all that much. Um, I don't really know how they feel though, because it's like, yeah, it's not really showing up here because they're keeping it to themselves. It hasn't changed however they feel here, but it is being, they are keeping it to themselves here um, because they feel like they can't, like they can't say anything about it. Again, more swords, you know, they're thinking about it. It's in, they're in their head over how they feel and they need to get out of their head here. So I can't, you know, it's not, spirit doesn't want to tell me how they actually feel about you. Spirit just wants to tell me that it hasn't changed and they're just keeping it to themselves. They're keeping it locked inside, locked in that box inside in their head. I'm just thinking about it again like I feel this feels like a quick fix you know that they're trying not to get triggered here by how they feel about you so quick fixes here this person you know they have things to deal with too I know you have things to deal with as well but they have things to deal with too um okay um mm. I don't think there's going to be any actions here. I really don't. Mm. <laughs> I was wondering how do you feel about this person and I saw the eight of cups in reverse fly out yeah I mean you still have some feelings here for them um, I feel like overall you want to you do feel some sort of balance here um, but it's mostly from the past so however you feel about this person it's like you're okay with your feelings for them but it's mostly based on the past yeah and in the past you know you felt you had a lot of like um positive feelings for them you know so okay but it looks like right now how you feel about them you're kind of working on finding a balance here between your feelings and feelings for them and I guess with you know within yourself here because you do feel emotionally detached to them now this devil here does feel like you are working on it because with the eight of coins here you're definitely working on you know okay that's good you know I I do at least there's that I was just wondering I'm like are you working on things here I was just kind of wondering here and just looking I'm like are you doing the work here cancer because you look like you're trying to distract yourself a lot but you are I do see that you have done some work here in this connection good for you i guess i mean i'm not the i'm i'm not like the uh the, the spirit police or anything like that i'm not like watching are you doing your assignment did you do it like i don't care i mean i care but like i don't know um i was just checking here because you seem to be trying to the energy of distracting yourself okay maybe you're working a little too hard on it like this just seems to be that energy that you're just working pretty um like overworking a little bit you know it's like oh, i'm gonna be very open and receptive i'm like yeah you can be a little too open and receptive where you start getting walked all over so i i guess be mindful of that that you don't work too hard on this because your person here eh, they're you know if i had to give a grade if I, to this person on how much they're working on themselves c maybe they're kind of aware so they could maybe pass c plus i don't even think that's a thing b minus uh maybe but they're not really um they're still really concerned about coins and pentacles here, so I don't know about that. I don't know about that. 
they have they have more work cut out for them than I feel you do but yeah you might be trying to do too much too soon or you know maybe you're just being very eager to you know work on this and get it done and over with but you have to take your time you know it takes time yeah there's no quick fix here and your person is trying to find a quick fix uh, but uh, they're not gonna find a quick fix here you know you gotta take the time you can't have there's no I mean there is a such thing as a mini dark night of the soul but it's not a true dark night of the soul I don't think I think your person is just kind of like I can live with it and no they're gonna find that they can't they'll just land themselves in towers you, you can't just live with that shit so Sorry, I'm stalling right now because I'm going to be distracted. Actually, I'm just going to pause until I can deal with that. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Not that you notice. It's just a pause. It's just a break. Oh, the light change, though. All right. So, potential outcome here. I didn't want to get distracted because when I get distracted, um, the reason why I get so upset is because I can't, like, feel... I guess my intuition, if you want to call it that, whatever, um, because my brain is too distracted thinking about, you know, worrying about other things that are around me. And it's just, it's just very difficult and it gets me really frustrated. So I just have to take a time out until I can, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call it, rebalance myself and all that shit. So yeah, sometimes it happens, whatever. Um, so interruptions happen. Okay. Uh, whoops. So your overall energy here and the potential outcome. I see that there is some victory here for you. And it comes from like, it's like you understand what's going on here. You understand you have, you know, you feel sympathetic to the situation here and you understand what's going on but at the same time it's like there is a sense of yes i get what's going on here but you know i really want it to, like i really wanted it to work out you know it's like i really wanted things to start here i really wanted like almost like a different result here it's like yeah i understand and you do have a sense of victory here but that sense of victory is like yeah but you know i kind of like you know, this is fine, but it just feels like, you know, like, her booty there, like, but it's fine, but, you know, kind of wanting things to have, um, gone somewhere else, almost like, yeah, there's a sense of, like, I really wanted it, though, I really wanted something here, I don't know, I don't really know what it is, it's like you wanted something else here, this wasn't what you wanted, and, you know, it's like, I wanted more, or I wanted the best you know outcome here so it's like you got a you got a outcome you got a, a outcome an outcome <laughs> yeah i can english good you got an outcome here and it's a good one it's fine but it's like you kind of wanted the best one though the best possible outcome mm. okay i mean it can still change um Potential outcome, I do feel that somebody here is expressing how they feel. Um, they are acting out on their actions here. I don't know if this is you or if this is them. I really don't know here. Um, but somebody, it's, it's coming from like an awareness almost. Like, um, like it can be like, it's like somebody knows like they've gained some sort of information here but it almost feels like misinformation like it's like okay i know things now i know things now that i didn't know then so i'm going to act on i'm going to act on my feelings based on this knowledge that i think that i have or that i think that i know here but it's like it's just knowing things and not really understanding what you know does that make sense it's like it's like you know they, like so whoever this is is like they know things but they don't really understand what they know and they're just going to act on how they feel um because they don't really understand <laughs> what's going on so it is a little bit of acting on intuition 
on your feelings rather than thinking things. I don't know if this is you or if this is them. Whoever it is, they're doing it because they want to move towards their happiness here. You know, it's almost like, again, this, it might be you because it feels a lot of spiritualness here. Like, you know, with the Hierophant here, it's like, okay, I learned some lessons here, but it's like not really understanding what is going on. It's like I have clarity and everything, but it's like I not I don't really get it. Because it's not confusion; it's just not knowing everything. It's like I don't have the full picture here, but that's good enough. I don't have the full picture; that's good enough for me to act on my feelings here and to move away from something in order to gain my happiness here because I'm not happy with what I have. It's like with the six of coins in reverse is like, I'm not getting enough out of this situation here. I want to get more from it. And it's like, okay, I see that I need to get more from it. I want to be happy. And so, yeah, I don't know who's doing this. This could be you, this can be them. Um, but like I said, your energy here is that you have some satisfaction, like, okay, so something is working out here, but it's not, it doesn't feel like it's in the way that you wanted it to. It's like you wanted more. It's like, I wanted more than what this is. I don't, I don't know what it is, like, but it's, it's like, you wanted more. Let's see what spirit has to say. Cause this, this reading is going on a little longer than I wanted it to go. <laughs> I'll be honest. It is going like 10 minutes too long. That's fine. It's just kind of confusing, that's all. in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse, key. there's the Knight of Cups in reverse. Who is this again? New deck, who dis? Um, sometimes I forget the archetypes in the deck, that's why I was like, who is that? I actually have to look that up because I don't remember who that archetype is. Not that it's like, it matters too much. Um, it doesn't change the meaning, I just want to know who the archetype is. Because I forgot. It happens. Oh, right. It's that girl. I can't, I'm not even going to pronounce it because I don't even know how to pronounce that. But, but okay. Anyways, it doesn't really change um, how this is. So, um, the, so what Spirit wants to talk about, there are people here. Um, there's somebody here who wants to, who's feeling quite confident to move forward here. So, hmm, overall energy. Remember this Eight of Cups, this Eight of Cups that's over here as well, um, wanting to move towards happiness here. It's like, yeah, I feel, you know, for you, there's an energy here that it's like, you know, if you want to fight in order to move towards your happiness here, it's not going to come all at once um, with the Ace of Wands here. You know, it's not going to just start right away here. I do feel like you're going to have to put in the effort here um, with the Knight of Wands. It's like some effort is going to have to be put into it. It's not just going to fall into your lap here. Um, you know, it's almost like you're going to have to make it happen if you want it to happen here. Um, that's that and the overall energy here. I, I feel with the Queen of Swords in reverse, um, there, eh, it does feel if you force it too much, it might, somebody might block you or you might get blocked or you might block somebody else. Um, you know, the Queen of Swords cuts people out. The Queen of Swords, um, she don't take no bullshit. So it almost feels like if you do fight for this, for what you want, and you try to force it because it's not happening, um, you're just going to get blocked out. That's what it feels here. If you try to force this. So if you're wondering, um, should I do something here? Like, should I, let's say this person isn't talking to you. Should I reach out to this person? Uh, I'm going to say 
if you try to force it, if you try to force what's going on here, you're going to get blocked. You know why you're going to get blocked? I can easily tell you why you're going to get blocked here. It's not here. It was in the energy before. Because this connection here, um, it, you're supposed to be apart. You're supposed to be separated so that you can figure something out. You know, they have to learn their lessons. You have to learn your lessons. Even if you feel like you've learned your lesson, you're like, I've learned my lesson. So that means we should get back together now. Uh, no, um, you have to wait for them to learn their lessons. And that kind of feels a little bit of the energy from before, you know, the very first spread. Um, you know, wanting to sort of almost rush and to put an extra effort in. It's like, if I put an extra effort in, I can make up for both of us. I'm like, oh, no, not really. That's not how it works. You have to wait. You know, maybe your person's a slow learner and they kind of look like a slow learner, not going to lie. So it's it may take a little longer here. So if you try to force this, the spirit is saying, if you try to force this, you're going to get shut out. You're going to get shut out here. You know, a six of cups in reverse and a knight of cups. The knight of cups, you know, this is for somebody who, uh, yeah, the knight of cups in reverse can be somebody who acts without thinking. You know, somebody who just kind of, um, you know, they, they're thinking with their heart here. And I, I understand having a lot of emotions and you want to act on those emotions here. But if you act on those emotions, you know, sometimes you can be blinded by those emotions as well. And that's what's going on here the, with the knight of cups. You know, you're going to get blocked because you're being blinded by the past here. And you're going to act on that because you're basing things on what happened before and not what's going on now. And spirit is just kind of almost warning you here. Again, if you try to force things, you may end up getting blocked by this person. Like, if you have any sort of like small communication from them right now, um you might be completely blocked from them if you try to force things. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, say that here. I mean, the outcome here is, you know, like, again, like it does feel, it does feel a little forceful from your end here. This does feel like, you know, doing things without really understanding it. So just be very careful about that here. Be very mindful of your actions. I mean, even if you feel like you've learned your lessons and you've healed and everything, you're, the other person hasn't. The other person's kind of slow because they still think that fucking pentacles and coins brings them happiness. Yeah, no, that's not, no. They need to, they need to get that out of their head here. So, and they're kind of a little focused on seeing, oh, you seem to be kind of distracted and yeah, yeah. It, they, they still have, like I said, they still have things to deal with here. And you're just going to have to wait for them. Um, it seems. A lot of waiting. There was a lot of waiting energy. So uh, so you might be trying to distract yourself. Um, but I feel like you're working a little too hard at that. You know, just, just... My advice for you would just be go with the flow. Just, you know, be in the energy and just go with it. Um, try not to force things to happen just because it's not happening. Just, just do what you're doing and try to not have so much control here. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyways, that is your weekly reading. Uh, it's gone like 15 minutes longer than I wanted it to go. <laughs> so you get like a little extra, I guess. I don't know how extra you wanted that, but probably not since it seems to be a lot of lecturing from my end i'm sorry you know uh anyways um <laughs> man i try i'm just reading the energy and i'm i try not to get so like i don't know preachy and stuff but it's hard i'm an aries okay i have to be direct and sometimes i'm direct and it's you know okay i'm sorry so anyways <laughs> that's your reading for this week i'm gonna shut up now you don't have to listen to me anymore um thanks for watching if you're still watching uh, and um good luck uh take care and i will hopefully talk to you later bye